Hey everyone, Luke McNally from Mass Nutrition and Build My Body. I'm just going to chat to you quickly about creatine supplements. Uh, there's a lot of them on the market at the moment and um, let's uh, sift through a few of them and um, decide which one uh, is possibly best. Now first off we've got creatine monohydrate which is the oldest of the creatine. It's been around for a very very long time and it's, um, it's the one that's got a lot of studies behind it in terms of a, uh, an ergogenic um, working very well for people like power athletes and strength athletes and bodybuilders and anyone that needs an increase in ATP in the phosphate system. There have been a lot of uh, new creatines come along. We've seen crealkaline which is a 98% monohydrate with a buffer. Um, when they've compared that to creatine monohydrate, they've found that actually monohydrate performs slightly better. This is probably because the 98% creatine monohydrate in the, in the buffered creatine was working and the 2% buffer um, did nothing. Um, tricreatine malate and creatine monohydrate again have been uh, tested head to head and monohydrate came out ahead. Um, creatine hydrochloride is a new one, which I don't mind. It's got um, it uh, requires less amount of creatine to be taken in. Um, the we've also got what's another one? We've got creatine ethyl ester, which was found to be pretty. That one was pretty bunk. It tastes horrible, and it's um, when they've compared it to monohydrate. Again, monohydrates come out ahead. So I guess that leads us to which one do I recommend? Creatine monohydrate. Um, it's been around, it's tried, it's tested, and it's cheap. It doesn't taste nasty. Five grams a day, you get all the benefits of the of creatine that you're after. You hear me now? Everybody's spreading love.